Notion has just released a brand new feature called Recurring Templates. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it, what it's all about, and we're also gonna go over five additional new features that you might not have heard about. Welcome back to Thomas Frank Explains. I'm Thomas Frank, and if you are into learning Notion, this is the channel to do that. And we're just gonna jump right into this brand new feature because it's actually pretty interesting and marks a very interesting turning point for the entire Notion platform. So what is a recurring template? Well, you can see here, I have a sample meeting notes database inside of one of my workspaces. And as you can see, I have all these rows in this database for meeting notes. I've got daily meetings, I've got Monday, Wednesday, Friday meetings, and these were all created automatically using Notion's new recurring templates feature. And if I go up to this little blue arrow on the new button at the top right corner, I can actually see how to set it up. So I've got several different templates inside of this database that I have defined. And right now, I would have to manually create instances of these templates. But if I go to the edit button for one of these templates, I now have a repeat option. And if I change this from off to something else, I can have it repeat and automatically create a brand new page in this database using this template on a schedule. So I've got a few choices here. I've got repeat daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. And I'm actually gonna go down to a new version of this database and show you exactly how I'd set that up. And you can see that I've got a daily stand-up template right here. And if I open that up and edit it, we can see that I've got a few call-out boxes in here. I've got action items. And let me just open this as a full page so we get some more space here. We've got process improvements. We've got meeting minutes. And this is a nice little example of a daily stand-up meeting template that you might create. I also have a tag in here that will automatically be applied. I could have other ones if I wanted. And normally, like I said earlier, I would have to manually create the new row every day and then apply this template. But because this is a daily stand-up meeting, we're gonna have it every single day, at least during the weekdays. So I can now use the new recurring templates feature to make sure this automatically gets created on a schedule. So I'm gonna go to, again, this little blue arrow here. I'm gonna edit this template and I'm gonna set the repeat actually to every week. Because if I set it to every day, I could have it skip every two days, every three days. But what I can't do here is get it on an only weekday schedule. But if I switch over to repeat weekly, I can actually select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, leave my Saturday and Sunday weekend days off of this schedule. And then I have a few other options as well. I can choose when this recurrent schedule is going to start in terms of day, and I'm just gonna leave it on today. And then I can actually choose a time when the meeting is gonna be created and a time zone. So I'm gonna leave it in MST, which is my time zone here in Denver, but I'm gonna set this to, let's see, it's 3.39 p.m. right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 3.40 p.m. And if I save it, I should see a new daily stand-up meeting get automatically generated in about one minute. One minute later. And there is my daily stand-up meeting generated automatically from the recurrent schedule in the template. And from here, I can go and take all of my notes, action items, everything that I would need for a daily stand-up meeting. Now, going back into the options here, I showed you weekly. We also have an every month schedule, and I can do one, two, three, etc. I still have the time of day that it will be generated and the start schedule. We have yearly as well. So there's quite a bit of functionality and optionality here for setting your recurrent schedule. And I think a weekly is gonna be a pretty useful one for a lot of people as well as daily. Now let's talk briefly about what this feature is and what it isn't before I get into one additional idea that I think is pretty cool for using this feature. So recurring templates is exactly what it sounds like and currently nothing else. It is a schedule that you can set to automatically generate an instance of a template uh, when you want it to be generated. What it's not, is recurring tasks inside of Notion. Because what we can't do inside of a template is say, uh, add a dynamic date property in here, like um, make it do two days after it's created. We also can't look ahead and see um, template instances that haven't already been created. They're gonna be created on their scheduled date and we can't see them like say on a calendar view before that. So this isn't a recurring tasks feature yet. The team has said that this is kind of a building block that they're going to launch off of for further automation features, but right now it's mainly just a mechanism to automatically create new pages inside of Notion. That being said, this is actually a pretty interesting and exciting feature because as far as I can remember, or as far as I can tell, this is the first instance of actual automation existing in the Notion app itself. Now we have the API, we can use tools like Zapier or make.com or even work directly with the API to bring an automation that way. I've got a whole video on recurring tasks using make.com, but 
I don't believe that uh, before this feature, there was anything that would automatically do stuff on a schedule inside of Notion. So this is our first glimpse of true automation inside of Notion, and I'm very excited to see what they do with it going forward from this point. So I wanna show you one additional idea that I think is pretty cool and that you can use right now with this feature, and then we'll get into the other five features that I think are exciting enough to share with you. So I'm gonna go over to my little notes area, and this is part of my ultimate brain template, which is a complete second brain for Notion. If you want that, I've got a link in the description down below along with a discount code, uh, but I'm gonna go back to my notes area and within the notes area of Ultimate Brain, there is a daily journal feature and there is also a daily note template. So if I go inside of this template here, I can see that I have quite a few little useful areas here. I've got my daily habits with check boxes here. I've got a little my day area and I've got morning pages and daily review. So this is pretty similar to that daily stand-up meeting template. And if you wanted to make sure that you were actually taking notes and keeping a journal every single day, you might want to use this new recurrence feature right here and set up a repetition schedule for every single day. That way you're going to get a new journal entry every day, whether or not you actually remember to generate it. And what that means is we can actually start to do some fairly more robust habit tracking inside of Notion where we couldn't really do it in the past, or at least you'd have to be very diligent about creating new rows. Because if I make myself a new row here, and I'm just gonna make it manually uh, and call it daily journal, what I can start doing now is creating checkbox properties for habits. So if I open this up, and let's go ahead and open this entire page up, I might create a checkbox property for uh, you know drink two glasses of water. And now I'm gonna have this property inside of my daily journal entry and I know that without fail, I'm going to have a daily journal entry created for me every single day, even if I forget to make it myself, which means I will also have an unbroken string of drink two glasses of water checkboxes for every single day, which means we can start using relations and rollups to do more robust habit tracking than we really could in the past. And with that being said, I now wanna go into the lightning round and share five additional new features that you might not know about, which came out recently and I think are cool enough to talk about. And the first one is a bit of a tweak to how uh, pages that are not full width work. Now, if you have multiple columns on a page, you can actually change the width of those columns and have them go beyond the normal width of a non full width page. So what do I mean by that? Well, here I have a set design page and this is actually within our knowledge base for our company. And we use this page to document how we get shots like this. So I have all the camera settings. I have the lights and the gear that I've used. So what if I wanted this to be next to some of these camera settings? Well, I could come and make a new block. I'm gonna do slash 2C for two columns. And you'll see now I have two columns instead of one. And I'll drag this picture up into the second column. And then I'm gonna grab all of this detail here, uh, and I'm gonna put that in the left column. So what this new feature allows us to do is once we have two columns or more on a page, we now are able to drag those columns and their overall width as a set to be wider than the non-full width single column here. The second feature we're gonna cover here is in addition to how you can display relations on a page within a database. And I'm gonna go over to a different page here. We'll go over to this TJF website redesign that we're working on here, and I'll show you how this works. So uh, in the past, and even right now, I have relations displayed with all my other properties here at the top of the page, and then I have all my body content here beneath the comment area. What I can actually do now is move this below the comment area and kind of have it displayed in a more inline fashion. And I can do that by either coming up here and going to customize page, which will customize, as it says here, all pages in projects, CIG, that database. I can also come here and choose the show as option. And now I have a few different choices. I have as property, which is the classic way to show it, but I also have as page section and minimal. So if I change this to as page section, I now get this new section. And I did misspeak, it doesn't go beneath the comment area, but it is its own section. And like I showed you in my last new Notion features video, we have the ability to customize the properties from the related database in this area here, which is really nice. So maybe I wanna see what area this is in, it's in my Notion area. Maybe I wanna see the progress of this goal. 
I can see it now, and that's really nice. It also lets me very easily uh, go into the page by clicking the open button here. I can click it in side peak, which is really, really nice, and I can see everything that I have associated with this goal here. So that's uh, one way you can do it. The other way, is we can show it as minimal. And now it looks basically like a minimal page backlink. In fact, if I link to this page somewhere else, so let's just do a double bracket and do a TJF website redesign. We now have backlinks right here and we have our goal right there. So we can click here to see our backlinks. We can click here to see our goals. And just like before, we can customize which properties from the related database that we wanna see inside of this modal. So pretty cool feature. New feature number three I wanna share with you is the ability to automatically apply property changes to lots of different rows in a database all at once. And here, I've got this cool little movies database, which I will zoom in so it's a bit easier to see. And I'll show you exactly how this works. So. Let's say that I track the movies that I've seen recently in a Notion database and I went on a Fast and Furious binge, which I still need to do. <laughs> I did this as an example, but I haven't actually done the binge yet. Uh, I can click this checked property here for seen recently to apply it to this Fast and the Furious row here. But now we have this little circle in the bottom right corner here. And if I drag this, then just like in Excel or Google Sheets, I can apply the same property change to multiple rows uh, with just one little drag here, which is really nice. Another cool thing that I can do, and this will be very fun for you keyboard navigation aficionados, is I can hit enter to check or uncheck a checkbox here, but if I hold shift, I can arrow down and select multiple rows, and if I hit control D, or Command D on a Mac, I will duplicate the property value from the originally selected row to all the other selected rows as well. And I'm actually gonna stay on this page for our fourth feature here because it's a very simple one. If I come up to share, as always, I have been able to share this to the web and allow it to be published as a template. I can make it available for search engine indexing. I think you have to be on the personal pro plan at least for that one there. Uh, but now we have this little link expires option. So let's say that I wanna let this be available as a template, but I want the link to expire. So I have the option to maybe change the link up, um, make sure that it can't be shared too easily. I can set this from never to any one of these options here, hour, day, week, choose date. And I think that this is gonna be less useful for template creators like myself who like sell or give away templates to the public, but more useful for people who are maybe sharing project briefs or um, just you know pages with clients or people they're working with. And they want those pages to kind of disappear after maybe an hour. So you don't wanna invite somebody as a guest to your Notion workspace. You just kinda of wanna have like an expiring page. This is a cool little feature that actually enables that. And that brings us to our fifth and final lightning round feature roundup wrap up. I don't know what you want to call it in this video because I've been filming for like two hours at this point, but this is a really cool one and that's why I saved it for last. We can now make really quick edits inside of board views and we can do that with this little pencil icon. So let me open up this board view here and this is inside of Ultimate Brain as well. And now we can see that on the board view, I have this little pencil icon and if I click it, I now have fields for any of the properties that I have decided to have displayed in this board view here. So I can easily add due dates. We'll just make this due today, why not? We can add an assignee, which will just be me at this point. We can add a smart list value. If you're like a GTD person, you wanna do like your do next, next actions or delegated or someday. And if I wanted to add another property to this view here, I can come over to the view options menu for this database view and I can go to properties and I can decide to show other ones. So this is within a project, I'm not gonna show that, but maybe I wanna actually show the done property. Well, now there it is. If I wanna do like maybe Kanban tag, I'll see that as well. And if I come to edit this one more time, now I have a blank space for Kanban tag and I can add any kind of tag that I want, which is a pretty nice feature. Additionally, when you're editing a card here like this, this icon changes to open in side peak. So if I wanna do some more heavy duty editing, maybe to properties that are not already listed here, I can easily open that up and now I have access to everything. So pretty simple feature, but I think that's a very nice little quality of life update and I'm very glad that they have added it. And I'm also very glad and thankful to you for sticking around and watching this entire video with me. If you wanna learn more about Notion, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I've got tutorials ranging from beginner level, absolute blank page beginner stuff, to more complex stuff working with Notion formulas, Notion APIs, that kind of thing. In addition to this channel, you can also go over to thomasjfrank.com 
slash fundamentals. That's where you're gonna find my Notion Fundamentals course, which even though it has the label course, is a completely free and open video and text tutorial series. If you wanna learn Notion, that is the place to do it. And last but not least, I did show off my ultimate brain template in this video. This is my complete productivity system inside of Notion. And if you want a system that gets you tasks, projects, goal tracking, note taking, tons of internal templates, uh, even a recipe database and a book tracker, all in one package, one second brain, all inside of Notion, this is the tool for you. You can find it over at thomasjfrank.com slash brain, and you can even use the code FALL50 at checkout right now to get a full 50% uh, off of the purchase price. And I'll just show you a couple of different views in here. We have a task manager with a calendar view. We have time-based views, so you can easily add to your tomorrow list, your next seven days list. But we also have a full GTD or getting things done workflow. So if you're the kind of person who wants to have an inbox like GTD uh, and add things to your do next list or your actual calendar or delegate them to somebody else, you can do that here. There's a full note taking area. There are uh, areas and resources, which uses Tiago Forte's para organizational methodology for organizing your entire life. Everything you need to manage your life and your productivity system is in this template. And and it also comes with killer documentation tutorials and active support. We have an active support community where lots of customers actually answer questions. But we also have a full-time support person. His name is Alex. He is amazing and he answers every single question. A lot of Notion templates don't offer any kind of support, but we wanted to do it because ultimately our goal is to help you take our templates and expand upon them, integrate them into your own systems and kind of build whatever it is that you need to build because that's the whole point of Notion is to build your your own tools, your own software, your own workflows. So once again, thomasjfrank.com slash brain to check out the ultimate brain template and use that code fall 50 at checkout to get a full 50% off of the purchase price. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you have questions about Notion, let me know in the comments down below or follow me on Twitter over at Tom Frankly. If that site is still alive and kicking by the time this video comes out, I'll see you there. Thanks again for watching and uh, have a great one.